Hi guys, hope you're all well. Um, welcome back to another MCFC review where it's just finished at the Etihad Stadium, Manchester City deal, Manchester United 2. Well deserved win for Manchester United, I must say. No complaints from me. Just more disappointed at our performance today. Wasn't a derby performance. It wasn't a performance of a team that have got 21 games on a winning run. Just wasn't to be seen to the. We just crumbled, unfortunately, and I have to be honest, we did. Now, yeah, we are going to win the league this season. Of course we are. But I hate losing to Man United and I hate losing derbies, so it still hurts. And the manner we got beat, it hurts as well. Um, I'll go through the game now, the teams, the game, before I go into my thoughts. I am a bit annoyed, so it's going to be a bit of a rant because I hate losing derbies. Even though you're probably thinking, oh, why are you going to rant when you're still going to win the league? It's because I hate losing derbies. And we didn't play well today, so I have to be honest. So, yeah. Going to the team now. It was a 4-3-3 formation, it looked like. I don't know why I didn't stick with the 4-2-3-1, which seems to work better for me in these big games. It was Edison in goal. It was exactly the lineup I predicted, but the formation was wrong. João Concello, John Stones, Ruben Diaz, Ola Zinchenko. Midfield three, Rodri, Ilkay Gundogan, Kevin De Bruyne. In the front three of Riyad Mahrez, Gabriel Jesus and Raheem Sterling. So yeah, it's a good team on paper. But we just couldn't match United today, so the game kicks off. The big moment, 40 seconds in the match, I believe, already happens. What on earth is Jesus doing? Why is he that far back? And why on earth has he been so daft and clumsy to make a stupid challenge like that? Unbelievable. Takes down, I think, Rashford it was. Definite penalty. The VAR checked it, but they didn't need to because it was a definite stormball penalty. Up steps Bruno Fernandes, who's very good at penalties. Goes for the far right-hand corner. Edison gets a strong hand to it, but it goes in the net. Edison should have saved it. Poor penalty. Edison should have had it, but he kind of parried it in the net and he should have done better. One goal to United. So yeah, um, awful start. And United just come at us straight away, even after that goal goes in, they want it more than us. They have a few more chances, Shaw again, forces Edison to the save. And it's so poor for us, the first half was awful, we didn't really create any big chances. Kevin De Bruyne was sloppy, wasn't himself. Now, I do have to say, I do feel he's been rushed back too quick. He had an injury, as we know he's got his injury problems, and I feel... Pep again is rushing him back too soon. He's got the minutes in him lately. And I think that's why he looked rusty today. He's got his injury problems and we keep rushing him back. And unfortunately, because we're doing that, we see these rusty performances. He wasn't at him. He, wasn't, he didn't look fit today, I thought. People pointed a finger at him saying, oh, he looked rusty. But he misplaced some passes, sloppy. But I didn't even think he looked fit. Again, I think he's been rushed back too quick. And you could also argue... When he was injured, did we play better without him? Maybe we did, but that's up for debate. And another thing, I made this point last week when West Ham scored against us. People going over the top about our defence saying how good it is because we haven't conceded that many goals this season. If you get our def if you get our at our defence, you will see it's not as good as people make out it is. And that's what United done to us today, and they punished us. That's what West Ham did last week. They scored past us. That's what Wolves did the other night and they scored past us. So I think all them clean sheets we got before that, it was teams not coming at us, they were too scared to get at us. But the three teams I mentioned there got at us and we conceded. So yeah, today I think it's been proven our defence is not as quite as good as people make out it is because we conceded a few now. So yeah, it's been good all season, but today United got at us and we crumbled. We couldn't cope with it. So yeah. 1-0, well-deserved, good first half from United. They kind of just controlled it, 1-0, they wanted it more than us. Lack of attacking threat from us, we did have a few chances, but they weren't clear ones. Henderson was forced into a save from Zinchenko's shot, which stung his palms, but it was an easy save. So half-time, United lead 1-0, second half begins. Again, United start the half better, and I think 49 minutes in, Luke Shaw gets the freedom to run at us. What is the defence doing? It's at sea. Just totally leave off him. Plays a pass. Comes at us again. And it's a great finish from Shaw. 
puts it in the bottom corner. Great finish, good goal. He was man of the match today, but what on earth was the defence doing stepping off him? Shocking, absolutely shocking defending. Everyone just everyone was at fault at the back, just laid off him, let him score. Poor defending, 2 0. And when that went in, I was like, yeah, it's game over. We're not coming back from this. We haven't done enough all game to even show any sign of coming back. So, yeah, that killed it for me. And, yeah, even after that, we did have chances, but I don't think we were even worthy of a goal. Rodri hit the post. We weren't even worthy of a put of a goal. I have to question his substitutions as well. He brought Ford and on. I forgot who he brought off. I think it was Sterling he brought off for Mahrez. But he didn't bring Aguero on, which was very confusing. Totally left Aguero out of this game. 2 0 down, he didn't bring him on. I know he's got issues over his fitness, but he totally left him out. So for me, I do think Sergio Aguero is going to leave this summer. I think he is playing his last season for us. Obviously, the injuries have been a problem, but I think he'll either return home to Argentina or join another European club. But I think, as much as it upsets me because I love him, he's a legend. I think this is his last season for us. So we will look for a replacement in the summer. I don't think Jesus is ready to step up yet. Today proved that again. I wasn't. He did have a few chances, but he needs to start taking them. But I do think Aguero was off in the summer. But yeah. It's another poor, it's poor performance. I mean, United see out the game and win 2-0. They could have probably even got 3 up. And we just sat high up the pitch and they kept catching us out. What amazes me is how you can go 21 games. 21 games. 21 game winning run. You come to a derby game, which means everything to the fans, including me. We want to win these games and you just crumble. That's what frustrates me. For me, it's just not good enough. The beat was at the eight he had last season, the beat was at the eight he had again this season. Two years on the bounce now. Not good enough. It's just something about playing United at home. We just can't deal with it, but we need to I do we are gonna win the league this season, of course we are, but that defeat hurts today. We need to start turning up in these derby games. It's not good enough. Not good enough. The defence just can't crumble like that. It's not good enough. How can you keep that many clean sheets and just crumble like that? Shocking. Yeah, we're going to win the league. And I'll be happy. Of course I will. But I hate losing derbies. And I don't like losing in that manner of performance I saw today. It was an unacceptable performance from everyone. Shocking. Not good enough. But we move on. On to Southampton on Wednesday. We're still 11 points clear at the top. So we need to keep that gap now to the end of the season. United will definitely get second rule in the league. And I do apologise yesterday for... I was very confident in my preview. I probably underestimated United a bit. And I'm at fault for that. I apologise. They've done one over us today. So fair play to them. But our performance was not good enough. My man of the match. Can't really say anyone. If I had to give it to someone, I'd say Zinchenko played all right but yeah that's it really yeah just a poor performance another derby with we've, we've not turned up again i am going to stay positive of course because we are top of the league we're still 11 points clear would i have taken this at the start of the season yes i would have i still hate losing to united though as you can tell even if we go on to win the league i still hate it so we'll have the last laugh of course we will but don't like losing derbies it hurts yeah, we move on. We just need to forget about this game now. Our winning run did have to come to an end. I, I I did fear today it could happen. I had a fear before the match and it did. So we need to forget about that winning record now it's over. Forget about this breaking European records. Nonsense. Not going to happen. Forget about this defensive record. We just need to start winning games again now. Which I'm sure we will. This could be a good thing because we could go on another good winning run now. I want to see us still win all four trophies this season if we can. So yeah, we move on. And what's more upsetting today is that, um, to wrap the video up, is that a Manchester City fan I knew in his 50s sadly passed away a few days ago, I believe.
because he had a double stroke a few months back. Massive Man City fan. Found out he passed away today, a few days ago, so that upset me. This was before the game. So I wanted us to win for him. That was the main reason why I wanted us to win today was for him. So that upsets me even more. That fact that the players didn't put a performance didn't get the win for him. Rest in peace, mate. You'll be missed. Tragic. But thanks for watching, guys. Let's keep the faith. Stay positive. Up the fucking blues. On to Southampton on Wednesday at home. Let's win the league. See us later. Up the fucking blues. Bye, guys.